Okay, so this is an inverse proportion question. So the uh, first bit I start with for this question is this line here. So as soon as I see that, I just write down B and this fish symbol, which means it's proportional to. The inverse is 1 over. So whenever it says inversely proportional or varies inversely, it's 1 over. And it says the square of A, so I'm just going to write A squared. Now I'm going to get my lines in. Okay. So, um, to get that fish sign to an equal sign, I need to times the right hand side by k, so it becomes k over a squared. Now I'm going to pick a value of a and b. Now a and b are called variables, they, they're going to change. The k though is a constant. When we find k once, we found k for good. Now looking at these options, I kind of like this one the best. It's kind of simple. I like, I like a nice simple fraction, 1 8 and 8. Okay, I can work with that. So it says b is 1 8, so I'm going to substitute in b is 1 8. And k we are trying to find out, and it says a squared, so it would be 8 squared, which would be 64. So I'm going to times both sides by 64, so I can find what k is. So it becomes 64 over 8 equals k, so therefore k is equal to 64 divided by 8, which is just 8. So putting that back into this equation here, formula here um, becomes this equation here so b equals 8 over a squared okay I'm going to use that to find out what a is when b is 2 so I'm going to write the same thing as I've written down for my answer here but instead of b I'm just going to write 2 so 2 equals 8 over a squared <clears throat> get my lines down Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is times both sides by a squared. So the um, best thing to do is get rid of any brackets or fractions. And since that means divide, over means divide by a squared, I'm going to times by a squared. So it would be 2a squared equals 8. Then I'm going to divide by 2 both sides. So I get the a squared in its own. So it's a squared equals 8 divided by 2 is 4. Then I'm going to square root both sides. So this could be 2 or minus 2, but it does say positive value. So a equals 2. So if I put a, and a is 2 into it, into the answer to question a, it would be 8 over 2 squared, which is 4. So 8 over 4, which is 2. So b equals 2.